Hi there, RC Girl here. Today we're taking a look at this freaking awesome rig. This is the Sen Racing 110 scale Ford F450 Dually. So it has four wheels on the rear axle. Very, very cool. Very different than anything I've ever tried before in my RC fleet. This is also going to be great for towing my scale trailer, towing some off-road rigs on that. This is gonna be the perfect truck to get you to the trailhead. This also comes powered with some really nice electronics from Savox and Hobby Wing. Let's take a look. So if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Here you're gonna find RC reviews, tips and tricks, run videos, flight videos, and other things related to RC. So if you wanna see more, make sure to like and subscribe. And also check out my Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. I'll put links to those down here. This is a new partnership with Sun Racing. So huge thank you to them for sending one of these out for my channel to take a look at. First off, this thing is freaking huge. Look how big this box is. I know it's not an SCX6, but this is gonna be a pretty big truck. Alrighty, let's take a look. Oh boy. Crazy. Instructions, we'll talk about that in a second. Let's put this aside for now. Look how freaking big this truck is. This is crazy. <laughs> this is actually the second release of the Sen Racing Ford F450 and they made a couple upgrades. First, they added two new color options, this red candy apple and the silver mercury, which is the one that I got. They did change the American Force wheels to these KG1 forged Trident D wheels. They also narrowed the rear wheel width. They added this textured bed liner coating to the truck bed. For the shock housings, they changed them from plastic in the original version to these aluminum ones. And the shock springs are red anodized. They also added black anodizing to the upper and lower links. These upgrades did lead to a small price increase as well. You'll notice that. Let's dive on into the details. So it looks like we have little protectors here with our body clips on the fronts and the rears. Um, noticing that a lot of the grill details are stickers, but if you have a 3D printer, you can go, I'm sure, super crazy with getting some crazy grills and light lenses here. These are the KG-1 Forge Trident wheels. They are plastic rims. These are officially licensed Country Hunter Fury off-road tires. Pretty low profile. And then we got our dually tires on the rear. These are actually inset. And while these are an off-road tread, this rig comes with open diffs. You have four-wheel drive, but it is gonna be open diffs. So you're gonna get a little wheel spin if you're trying to do more technical terrain. So just keep that in mind. They do make a diff locker. So I might pick up one or two of those to lock out the disc. This is an officially licensed Ford F450 Super Duty truck body comes with some really nice scale details. We have these windshield wipers here on the front. We have our plastic side mirrors with mirror finish. Scale by Chris also makes 3D printed door handles. I have some of those on the way, so I'm gonna install those. Our windows are actually decals here, so you can't see through them. Platinum Super Duty logo on the rear. Alrighty, let's take a look at this rig underneath the body. Okay, let's see. The body comes in two pieces and the front and rear are attached right here. Nice that it comes pre-painted for you. Very cool. This is gonna be a 17.6 inch wheelbase. So very, very long wheelbase, really long chassis rails. Something like your TRX4 is gonna be a 12.8 inch. So comparatively, this is a really long chassis. Really nice steel chassis rails. All right, let's start at the front up here. So this is actually my first Sen Racing rig. First off, we have this really thick foam piece up front. That's probably to protect the chassis from any collisions. Here we have a chassis mounted servo design. This is our Savox servo. It's gonna be 12 kilograms of torque. It comes with a pretty beefy looking servo horn. This is a 25 tooth spline count. We got nice metal steering links up front. So you do get a little servo hum there. So if you just let the servos center themselves, that buzz will stop. But I find that servos tend to be the first thing that I replace on a rig. So we might do that in the long run, quiet that servo down a little bit. And then here we have our front axle. I don't think Sen Racing has a specific name for their axles. 
These are plastic bodied straight axles. Should be nice and sealed as well. Take a look at these knuckles. Here you can see our front sway bar. So there's this bar around here with these little arms on each side. That's gonna keep your chassis nice and stable. Body mounting posts here, which are adjustable height. And then we get to the 40 amp speed control from Hobby Wing, also unbranded. Has a nice metal heat sink here to dissipate some heat. Looks like it also comes with Dean connectors. I run XT60, so I'm gonna have to solder on my own connector. Otherwise you can get an adapter if you don't use Dean's. It says here that this is a six volt BEC and also you can change some pretty basic functions. You can move these little tabs here into the different pins between NMH and LiPo battery. Also, whether you wanna have reverse on or off. Then we have our two connection points to the motor here. It doesn't say the turn number, but it is a pretty fast motor. So it has some speed behind it for this truck. After driving around, it does have some punch to it. All right, we're gonna do top speed. It's actually pretty fast. Highway speed. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Here we have our transmitter. It does have a nice rubber grip here for our steering. You can also reach the steering with your thumb to do one-handed steering if you want. We got our on and off switch here. Here is your third channel button up here. You're gonna have your throttle trim and your steering endpoint adjustments here with these buttons. And we have our trigger. Put your batteries in the bottom. Otherwise, nothing crazy special about this. Pretty basic to get you going. If you're in the RC world, would definitely suggest linking it to whatever transmitter that you have or upgrading this over time. Comes with a T-wrench and some basic Allens. You got your instructions manual for the truck and for our transmitter. And then we have a couple decal options. We're gonna go with this 3S battery. This is a 2200. You can definitely fit a bigger pack than this, but I had this lying around, so let's put this in and turn on the rig for the first time. Power that up. This should be bound from the factory, but we'll test that out. So let's turn this on. We got a blue light here. And let's turn it on. All right, here we go. Whoa, sh Okay. Yeah, I would definitely recommend doing this not on the table, so. <laughs> Okay, so we're at the park. We're gonna take the F450 for a run. I hooked up a trailer and put on a towing rig, the Axial Capra. Let's see how it handles. It's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a speed run and see how it handles. That's not even top speed. So the turning radius, it's pretty wide turning radius, but... All right, here's top speed. <laughs> oh, it's pretty funny. Nice, good braking. Um, so the tow hutch is actually a upgrade part. I'll put a link to that in the description box if you guys want to pick up one of those. And then, yeah, the scale trailer was made by one of my YouTube subscribers, Jerry Tulin, Jerry Tulin Customs. I'll put a link to his Instagram. Very, very cool. I take this pretty much every Axial Fest and really fun to tow some rigs. I mean, just using some bungees, I know that's not super scale. In a full scale rig, you would have tie downs around each of the wheels. So I know I'm not super scale, but I used what I had. Let's take it away. Speed bump take one. Oh, 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 Passes the speed bump jump test. All 
right, I had a little accident. I crashed into the curb, sort of at full speed. Luckily, the front bumper has a nice foam padding, but I think the CVD popped out and one of the links kind of busted out of the end here, the rod end. Easy fix. I have aluminum CNC'd one, so we're actually gonna upgrade those and we'll get this up and running again. <laughs> I think right now we just have rear wheel drive. What did you do? I went in the grass. Don't go in the grass. I lost a little ball toe hitch and I freaking found it. It's so tiny. So make sure to thread lock this because mine came off. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to find that. I've been driving this around everywhere. So, and I found it. Good luck. Now let's talk about some of the upgrade options for the Sen Racing Ford F450. I was actually surprised at how many option parts. These are all the options from Sen Racing. They make a bunch of aluminum links. They also make aluminum parts for all your link attachments and an aluminum sway bar kit if you wanna upgrade that as well. Aluminum diff covers, I might put these on real quick. Spare CVDs, and you can actually convert your rear axle to a straight axle if you want. Kinda of cool, of course might go all out with spiked lug nuts. Kind of crazy. And if you check out 110 Rod Shop, he makes full light kits for this thing. 3D printed grills, Tanu pop-up bed covers. Very, very cool. And another guy on Instagram, Crawlers and Customs, makes a lift kit for this. I think we're gonna have to like really lean into this and super bro dozer it out. <laughs> So all in all, what do I think about this rig after spending a little time with it? I was actually really surprised at how much fun I had with it. I thought it was maybe gonna be a shelf queen, but it actually was a lot of fun. It was really fun jumping it over the speed bumps at the park, also towing my scale trailer. I would say that these kind of have a cult following. There's some people that go all out with their Ford F450s. Really cool to see all the upgrade options out there as well for this. On road, it actually handles really nicely too. It drives really well, nice and controlled, really nice braking, pretty wide turning radius. So you're gonna need somewhat of an open area to have a lot of fun with this. Blame the long wheelbase. This would be a fun rig to take to events to haul some of your other rigs with the trailer. Huge thank you to Sen Racing for sending one of these out to my channel to try out. Stay tuned for an upgrade parts video. Also, huge thank you to my patrons on Patreon. With the recent proceeds from my Patreon, I purchased a GoPro Hero 10. This is gonna let me get some really cool RC shots. This thing has been really awesome so far with getting shots super down low. The stabilization on these is freaking insane. So I'm gonna leave you guys with a video montage, but huge thank you to my patrons. Looking forward to getting some really cool shots with this. I'll right, see you later. <laughs>